we love a flawless transformation and you guys are going to see how i took this 46 dollar long wavy sultry unit and transformed it into this glamorous shoulder length bob i mean we're going to have some fun in today's video so get your hair shears and your hair thinning comb and let's have some fun so if you watched my pluck and sip live you know all about annalise and i showed you guys how to pluck the hairline trim the lace around the ear tabs and i also removed the combs in the crown before i got started i already applied the pressed powder and this hairline is everything it extends from ear to ear and it gives me full coverage across my hairline i love it so definitely get your hot comb and if you do not have this hot comb i don't know why we're still having a conversation it is one of the best it is unmatched purchased it with my own money and i highly recommend it but i just slick the hair down because i like to keep everything neat with the double prong clips for the install for me the best method for installing this unit will always be using the mini hardhead spray it smells so good i love the fragrance and plus it gives you just like the best the best hold so you guys go in with a few layers use your blow dryer in between applying each layer it makes all the difference and you guys are gonna see this lace melts into the skin i'll try understood the assignment so you know what in the past the lace has been a little too dark but this one is perfect of course after i went in to apply the pressed powder and you guys can check the card section because all of the details for the pluck and sip live will be included there as well as in the description box because that's a more informal way where you guys get to learn about customization techniques and you know even for beginners intermediate or advanced now when i took this elastic band off melted is an understatement i mean the lace disappeared now some of you guys said when i do my adult swoops it's pretty satisfying i mean i don't want to talk too much over this point of the video but listen this is one of my favorite favorite parts of wig installs because this is how you can honestly make your unit so much more realistic and honestly unclockable and i use the invincible styling gel as always to do my swoops now i've been obsessed with gold eyeshadow like it's been heavy in my rotation it just looks so gorgeous against the complexion so to all my sisters out there like do not be afraid but I wanted to show you the full length of this unit. I'm 5'5 and it goes beyond the small of my waist. With a unit this long, you know it's definitely, it's gonna give you a little bit of a tangle, but nothing too extreme. Now at first I thought I was gonna do a side part, but something about this particular curl pattern, I didn't like the volume when I was doing the C-shaped part. So I wanted to go in and just do the standard middle part. Honestly, middle parts can look super sexy. Like if you wanna take your look up a notch, this is the way. And of course, if you do intend to do a middle part, go in and pluck it just a little bit. You don't have to go overboard. It just helps it to lay flat. You know, you remove some of the volume. Now, how many of y'all would have rocked this long? Do you prefer the long or the short? Cause honey, the transformation is coming up. Now, if you prefer the shorter length, this is the time to go and get a super elastic and stretchy scrunchie. And I'm using my middle finger, the longest finger, and I'm gonna place it right at my chin and at the base of my palm with the hair pulled to the front. That's where I'm going to place the scrunchie this was out of focus i'm so upset but you know what but we still got it done okay now i'm going to take hair shears i know y'all like to use kitchen scissors craft scissors please lord you know deliver us from the craft scissor but i'm going to cut the hair right at the top of the scrunchie i think this is the perfect length now with the hair thinning comb i'm going to go in and start trimming the layers now this is an overview you can slow this section down and adjust the playback speed 
YouTube allows you to do that. I was trying to figure out the best look, but you guys will see in a few moments, I will show you exactly how to trim and layer your unit if you are indeed a beginner or this whole process just scares you. And so I like layering my unit because it just gives it more character. It gives it more of like, you know, a unique look for my face shape, okay? Now moving along, I'm going to take a very small section and I'm going to use an alligator clip to pin the rest of the hair back, which is super important. And I'm going to use a comb to kind of flip it in the opposite direction away from my face. And I'm going to start using the comb at around the cheekbone area and then start sliding it down. So there are two sides to the hair thinning comb you have the option to use either whichever one gives you the most ease. Again, you have to figure out which works best for you. I feel like the portion of the hair thinning comb where the teeth are a little bit longer, you may have a bit more control and actually trim less. But when you're using the opposite end, you may notice that you know you have less resistance and you can trim a bit more hair. Working in sections is the best approach if you are a beginner, if this scares you. Now don't try to speed up the process because if you do, you may mess up your layers, you may trim too much, it may become uneven, and it's always easier to go in smaller increments. Don't make your sections too thick, too full. But honestly, I feel like y'all got this. If you were to do this on your own, do you feel confident enough? Was this video thorough enough? And as I move further back with each section, I'm going to place the hair thinning comb lower and lower because I need, you know, the layers to go shorter to longer as we move away from my face. And don't forget to trim the layers on the inside of the unit. That also is super important. So about this point, I'm going to take a section that's closer to the inside and I'm going to actually layer this. Again, we want these layers to be uniform. We want them to just add dimension to the overall cut of this unit so it doesn't look super blunt. all ready i feel so cute now you guys can see the unit is coming together this whole look okay is giving is giving what it needed to have gave i'm proud of it but i will tell you keep combing your unit and situating it the way that you like make sure that the part lays super flat i like to have that little flip up you know, right at the front, especially for a middle part, because the hair will just flow and it'll cascade around your face. I love that. And because I want to give this unit some shape, I'm going to go in with the mini hard head spray and, and just add a little bit of hold to the unit. You don't want to go overboard. And then I want to use the blow dryer on the cool setting to set the product onto the hair. And then this is where I go in to fix the layers of my unit because again, it wasn't perfect. When you finally adjust your hair and comb through it, you may find that you need to make slight adjustments and it's nothing wrong with that. But I want y'all to let me know how I did. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Do you feel confident to do this on your own? I hope this was super helpful. I love this look. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and share with your homeboys and your homegirls so they can, you know, turn that long wig into a super cute bob. Meet me in the comment section, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.